How's it going guys? Welcome on to Arsenal Fan TV and it's felt like absolutely ages since Arsenal played a Premier League fixture. But we're back with a really significant one. It's Aston Villa versus Arsenal. Made a whole lot more interesting by the fact of uh, what went on at the start of the season when we lost 3-1 to them at home. And I think this is the perfect opportunity to actually show them how real football is played. You know, maybe bolster the old goal difference in this one and get a big win. I mean, that game at the start of the season was so controversial. What went on with the referee in the season, I mean, it was an awful game. But maybe we, could, we should be thanking Aston Villa. Maybe if it wasn't for that loss, we wouldn't be where we are now, sitting pretty at the top of the table. But, um, I mean, I'm, I'm looking around the Premier League and all these other big teams winning. I mean, you've got United winning, you've got Spurs winning, you've got Chelsea winning. City at the moment, I think, won no up. So it's, it's absolutely vital that we do collect all, all three points in this one. Uh, and like I said, get a few goals in this one. We do need to up our goal difference a bit. I mean, if you look at City's goal difference at the moment, it's absolutely huge. And we need to be competing with that. Uh, and this is the perfect, perfect game in which to do it. Now, Aston Villa, for me, they, they haven't been playing at all well at the moment. They've been extremely inconsistent this season. And a uh, perfect reflection of that was when they went crashing out the FA Cup to Sheffield United with a pretty strong lineup. And uh, saying that, um, Christian Benteke, what's going on with him this season? He had a great season last year, and now he's massively underperforming. He's not living up to the hype that a lot of people expected of him. And he just hasn't been playing well. He's missed a load of golden opportunities. I think ever since he was out injured, he's not come back as strong as he was. And he's just not looking at all at all fit. But the one guy that is is you know capable of causing us a lot of problems is certainly Gabriel Bonglehoy. He's got pace, he's got skill, movement, he knows how to finish, he's going to be a real handful for our defence. But nothing we shouldn't shouldn't be able to cope with. But if you look at Arsenal, at the moment, we're on a very good run, there's no denying that. Um, and you know, one thing that is is gonna be a massive blow to us, Fio Walcott being out for the rest of the season. And missing the World Cup, he's got my deepest sympathy. I can't quite say how sorry I feel for the guy. I mean, he's probably been one of our biggest players this season, despite actually not featuring that much at the start. He he could have been the guy that could have made the difference this season, and it's a massive blow for us. But on the on a on a positive side, I think perfect opportunity for Serge Gnabry to um, actually get a chance in the first team, get a string of games together, and really show us what he's like. The same goes for Oxlade Chamberlain. He's coming back, could feature in a team. Going to be really excited to have him back because I honestly think when he played against Villa at the start of the season, uh, those first 45 minutes, he was probably the best player in the field and he can really bolster our title chance. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play, but this is going to be a huge, huge game and we've got to really pick the team line up carefully. Um, it's, I've been thinking about it all day. It's been giving me a real headache uh, what team to play, but I think if we stick with the solid back four that's been um, playing really well recently of uh, Sanya, Mertzak and Koscielny, and then, of course, Monreal, because Gibbs is still 50-50 for this one. And then Wilshere, Arteta, Nabri, Ozil, Cazorla. And, of course, we've got Olivier Giroud back in the side, which is going to be a huge boost. I'm hoping he gra grabs a few goals in this game just to get his confidence up. But saying that team lineup, I wouldn't mind seeing Podolski start this game. But on the left-hand side, not in that central role, because he doesn't perform at all well there. And uh, maybe we could see Oxlade-Chamberlain, but I'm not, I'm not all that sure if he'll even feature off the bench because he just he didn't he didn't look up to speed in that game uh, that he played in the under 21s and he's quite in saying that he couldn't even run well in that game so maybe just give him a little break before returning him to first first team action um i'm not i'm also uh, quite inclined to play thomas Rosicki in this one i think he's been playing really well for us probably one of our best players in the moment and he's been so consistent for us this season so he probably deserves a chance in the team but i think that team is one that i'd like to see play i mean we got um a couple of players in there that haven't played so much recently, so it's going to be really exciting to see that. And uh, score predictions for this one. I'm going to go with 3-0 to Arsenal. We should be beating a team that has the worst home record in the Premier League, so it should be quite a significant win. Um, let me know your score predictions in the comments box below. Let me know your team lineups, who you'd like to see start the game. If you haven't enjoyed the video, it would be great if you click the like button. Subscribe for more videos, and as always, thank you for watching, guys.